JJ and the Jet Plane presents Babysitting Blues. Growing up is one of the most important things in life. We all have to do it. And that was just what was on Tracy's mind one fine morning. She remembered that the Bible promises there's a very special plan for us as we grow up. Tracy decided to ask Brenda Blue what kind of good growing up type of job she could do. Yes, hello? I'm looking for a babysitter for a little plane named Snuffy. Yes, he's our youngest plane, and I need a responsible, grown-up type of person to look after him this afternoon. What? Mm, all your babysitters are busy. Oh, well. Thank you anyway. Goodbye. Uh, what's the matter, Brenda? That's the tenth babysitting service I've called today. I can't find anybody to babysit for Snuffy. Oh, well... Why don't you just ask me? I'd love to do it. You? It wouldn't be too much for you to handle? No way. It's a grown-up kind of job. It'll be great practice for me. Well, you are very responsible. Sure, why not? Oh, yay! <laughs> now, I'm going to be around here too, but I can't keep an eye on Snuffy all the time, and, and I don't want him to be alone. Boy, I can't wait to tell everybody. I'll see you later, Brenda. Bye. Thank you, Tracy. Don't mention it. Yippee! I'm going to have a real grown-up job. I'm going to be a babysitter for Snuffy. Whee! I'm going to have so much fun doing... Uh, doing... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Now that I think about it, I don't really know what a babysitter does. Uh-oh. I better go get help. Maybe I'll go ask Oscar for advice. He knows about lots of things. Tracy went right over to old Oscar's barn. And so, Oscar, what do you think I should do when I babysit for Snuffy today? Well, now, little girl, that is a mighty good question. Uh, maybe you ought to take Snuffy for a quick spin around the valley. Eh, not too far from home, mind you, but uh, there's nothing like a good air-busting flight to keep a little kid plane happy. <laughs> you just stay outdoors and enjoy the fresh air. Outdoors, huh? Tracy listened to old Oscar's words of wisdom very carefully. But later that day... Savannah! Slow down! Wait for me! What are you doing here, Tracy? I wanted to catch up with you before you went supersonic fast. I need to ask you a question. Of course, sugar. Ask away. I'm babysitting for Snuffy this afternoon. What do you think I should do to keep him happy? Well... Maybe you should take him inside the hangar with you and tell him a good story. Oh, little kids love to snuggle up inside and have stories read to them. Oh, inside, huh? Mm-hmm. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go supersonic fast to stay on schedule. Pardon my sonic boo! Thanks! Have a safe trip! Wiggles me right down to my wing flaps. Hmm. Oscar suggested that I take Snuffy outdoors, and Savannah suggested that I stay with him indoors. Now I really don't know what to do. Maybe I'll go ask JJ and Herky what they think. Tracy should have prayed to God for help, but instead she caught up with JJ and Herky. So are you excited about this afternoon, Tracy? You bet. <laughs> I can't wait to play lots of games with him. Huh? What are you talking about? My grown-up job babysitting Snuffy this afternoon. What were you talking about? We're talking about how we're all going to the air carnival in River Ridge with Big Jake. Oscar's coming too. Didn't you remember? <gasps> oh, no. I forgot. Yeah, but Snuffy can't go because he's too little for the ride there. Of course. No wonder Brenda was looking for a babysitter. Uh-oh. And I said I'd do it. Now I can't go to the air carnival. Look, all you have to do is tell Brenda that you forgot, and I'm sure she'll find somebody else. Oh, JJ, I can't do that. It's too late for her to find a babysitter now. Besides, I promised. If I go back on my promise, then that wouldn't look very grown up. 
Tracy was right, of course. Brenda was counting on her. So Tracy was going to babysit Snuffy as promised, but now she didn't think she'd have any fun at all. Later, after everyone had left for the carnival, Tracy remembered God's promise that his plan for us is a good one. And she started her afternoon with Snuffy. Well, Tracy, what do you want to do? There it was, the question that she dreaded all day. A million answers raced through Tracy's mind, but in the end, she just had to be honest. Well, Snuffy, I don't have an idea. I'm really sorry. I guess I really must be a bad babysitter. No, you're not, Tracy. We've only just started. Hey, I have some ideas about what we can do. You do? Sure. I've been planning all day since I heard that my pal Tracy was going to be my babysitter. I've thought up all kinds of fun things to do. Incredible! You know, I've been so busy asking everybody what they thought we should do, I never thought to ask you. What do you want to do, Snuffy? I'm glad you asked. Follow me! Nose up, nose down, wiggle wings, turn around, climb high, zoom low, following the leader, take off, touch down, make a silly engine sound, say hello to Terry Town, following the leader. Your ideas are really great. Tell me more. I can't wait. Sure thing. Listen up. No one has more fun than snuff. Shh, engine's off. Time to climb. It's the perfect way. Up here in the clouds, tell me if you see her. Play tag in the sky, I did got to fly. No way you will catch the sky, follow me the speeder. What could be more fun than playing in the sky? Come on everyone, come with us and fly. Nose up, nose down, wiggle wings, turn around. Climb high, zoom low, following the leader. Take off, touch down, make a silly engine sound. Say hello to Terry Town, following the leader. <laughs> Those are great ideas, but what do we do first? Let's play follow the leader. Come on. Whee! J.J., Perky, Old Oscar, and Big Jake came home from the air carnival. They'd had a really good time. But J.J. wondered if maybe Tracy's afternoon hadn't been so much fun. He looked all around for any sign of Tracy and Snuffy, but they were nowhere to be found. Hmm, that's pretty strange. I wonder where they are. Just then, he heard Tracy's happy voice coming from inside the hangar. Inside the hangar were three bowls of fuel, 
and she went up to the first one and said, This bowl is too big. And then she went up to the next one and said, This bowl is too small. Then she got to the third one and said, But this bowl is just right. Hey, what's going on? Tracy's telling me the story of Goldie Wigs and the Three Blimps. Really? I love that story. Boy, JJ, you missed all the fun. Tracy and I played Sky Tag and Follow the Leader and Jump Frog. Whoa, it sounds like you guys had lots of fun. You're right, JJ. We had a great time. And you know what? Big Jake's promised to take you, Tracy, to the air carnival tomorrow afternoon. <gasps> no kidding? No kidding. And this time, I'll stay home and babysit you, Snuffy. But I'll have to tell you, Tracy's going to be a hard act to follow. <laughs> Thanks, Snuffy. Tell us more of the story, Tracy. Sure. Okay. So, anyway. After so, Golden Tracy had fun doing her grown-up job and learn that God's great plan for us is truly a happy one.